Okay, you all received a copy of the minutes of the last meeting. There's one little change that Amanda already told us she is taking care of. Any other changes? Okay. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Madam Chair, thank you very much. I uh, just wanted to go over a couple of things with you and then provide your agenda summary. Uh, I'll provide the summary first. Uh, for tonight, you do have one public hearing on the agenda for 2016-38 in reference to an amendment to Chapter 32 pertaining to the communication towers. Uh, this was a, stemming from a overall evaluation of Chapters 32 and 38, uh, and the amendments will be uh, presented to Council by the Planning Commission on a kind of an individual topic basis and communications towers in addition to setbacks, which is later are the first two topics coming to the Council. Uh, this is a um, kind of an administrative cleanup process, amending some of the language and definitions to meet current FCC standards, as well as an adjustment to the height requirements for uh, particular communication towers, specifically uh, broadband oriented uh, poles to be used for wireless access uh, for the, the county. Uh, so it would set a, a new standard of uh, requirements for anything above and or below 75 feet. Uh, and again, also make adjustments to what is defined a, a communication tower uh, in, in light of that definition of height. Um, you also have two second readings the first of which is 39, that is pertaining to the Capital Projects Advisory Committee. This ordinance would actually dissolve that committee. Uh, as I spoke uh, at the last meeting, it's a, a, a committee that's kind of become, uh, I don't want to use the word useless, but um, it just doesn't serve much of a purpose for us anymore. It had an original uh, priority, an original goal. That goal has been, has been met. Uh, we were able to clean through some of those capital projects that were lined up and submit those to the Planning Commission for their annual uh, capital project uh, list. Uh, submission to council. So uh, in talking with the members, we felt like it uh, didn't serve a useful enough purpose, so we're recommending it be dissolved. 2016-40, uh, uh, this would be an amendment to Chapter 38 of our codes in reference to the setbacks. Uh, one of the primary responsibilities of this is to set a grandfathering in of uh, previous parcels that didn't meet our uh, setback requirements due to size constraints. Uh, since those uh, particular parcels or neighborhoods may or may not have been approved prior to the establishment of the zoning ordinance. We wanted to provide them a, an alleviation from the setback requirements due to their particular topography or size limitations. So we wanted to specifically and uh, primarily make an adjustment to those particular parcels to allow them to be developed if they could not meet the setback requirements. First reading of the ordinance 2017-04. Uh, this would be an ordinance to adopt new airport rules and regulations for the operation and management of the airport, uh, the Oconee County Airport. The previous rules and regs, if I remember correctly, from the 1970s, maybe not quite that old, but they were fairly old and really weren't relevant to today's operation standards. So we've uh, undergone a complete review and evaluation and rewrite of those code of, uh, rules and regulations. Um, we'd like to submit those for your consideration for approval to update those. They have been vetted through the airport commission process. Uh, the consultant and staff and the commission all work together uh, to uh, make these requested amendments uh, to the new rewrite. Uh, and they come in full support of the airport commission to <coughs> council for consideration. And like I said, they uh, hopefully if you have not read them over the next couple of readings, you'll have an opportunity to read through. If you have any questions, obviously we'll be able to answer those at that time. Uh, no action items this evening, Board and Commission appointments, uh, you see that list there, and plus a schedule of when the next items will be up for um, approval. No unfinished or new business. Uh, the Council Committee reports there are none. We actually have moved the Law Enforcement and Transportation Committee to next Tuesday, the 24th, and we still need the three executive session items that are listed on the agenda, uh, albeit they should be short. A um, couple of items for you. I did want to... Uh, bring to your consideration a, a confirmation of the February 3rd strategic planning update meeting. We had set that date at the last meeting, but there was some discussion about everybody checking their calendars to make sure that they can meet that. So I'd like to, for council to at least affirm that date so we can go ahead and get it advertised and scheduled. And I also wanted to point out that we will be performing some work in the city of Westminster uh, in the next seven to ten days. Uh, and working through Chris Carter and Mayor Ramey, we're going to be setting up a recycling center inside the city. 
uh, to help them with their recycling efforts. Uh, them, as, as, as in addition to other, other cities, have um, ceased their curbside recycling pickup just due to a cost standpoint. So it, to have the ability for their residents to still be able to recycle in a convenient manner, we're going to assist them and set up a recycling center. It will not be a trash center like our normal convenience center, but it will just be purely recycling. And the county is going to go in and set up recycling containers, going to make some improvements to the grounds uh, to make it easy for their, their citizens to be able to come and, and uh, deposit recyclables inside the city limits. So we've actually uh, got that on our schedule, hopefully in the next seven to ten days to start that work. So we're excited about that. I've talked with the city of Wahala about that same opportunity. Uh, we're going to wait and see how the, the Westminster one goes, get that one done, and then come in and, and uh, put one up hopefully in the city of Westminster, or excuse me, Wahala as well. So uh, just trying to partner with our cities to <coughs> assist them with some of their recycling efforts, which will benefit all of us. Um, so that's what I've got for you this evening. I'll be glad to answer any questions about any items on the agenda, or if you have any other questions outside of those topics, I'll be glad to answer those as well. That's it, Mr. Madam Chair. I have a question about the recycling center. Yes, uh, where is it going? What, they the have land? a maintenance yard. I don't know the name of the street. Mm -hmm. um, it's over near the Hardee's. There's a, a maintenance building uh, right off the main road there. Uh, they've gone in and cleared out, met with um, their public works people, identified a spot, and they've already gone in and cleared out that section where it's going to go. They've got ample room, uh, had a schematic done up by uh, our solid waste director on what exactly he would need. We've laid out a traffic flow. Uh, so it's going to go on that maintenance yard. Again, I, I don't know the name of the street, um, but it's okay. Okay, it's by the Hardy, so it's right there on the main. It's, it's, I don't know, 300, 400 feet off the main road. Mm -hmm. right. okay. I mean, it's not it's right by the, the fire road. department, that, that area in there. So. Okay. So it'll be a neat little, neat little program. They're mm -hmm. excited about it. What about Seneca? Are we going to invite them to participate? have not talked with them about that program. Okay. Uh, we're, we're working with Westminster and Wahala for right now, and then hopefully we'll be able to, because they've already got their own. Mm -hmm. They've got a, a convenience center of their own, similar to what we have for people to drop the recyclables off that the city operates. Oh, okay. Um, over by their public light and water building, if I remember correctly. So they have one. I, I'm not sure how, you know, if they take everything there or not, but Wahala and Westminster, we're going to set one up for them. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, no one is signed up for today's public hearing on Ordinance 2016-38. If anyone would like to make any comments now or any written comments uh, for the clerk, now's the time. Um, other than that, we'll just go ahead and close this public hearing and move on to the third and final reading of Ordinance 2016-38. Do I hear a motion to approve 2016-38 regarding the communication towers? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Madam Chair? Yes, sir. After the second, we need to open it to discussion before we have the final vote. After the what? After you have the motion seconded, mm -hmm. it is then on the floor for discussion. Okay. And then you close it. I got the impression there was not much to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be, but at least <laughs> Okay, so sorry. We have a motion and a second. Any comments or anybody have anything to say about the communication towers? Like I and said, right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we had much to discuss here. All right, can we have the third and final reading now? All right, third and final reading, 2016-38. We already voted on it. All well, in favor? She called for a vote now. Aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Aye. <laughs> All right, moving on. Second reading. I don't like to waste any time. Second reading of the following ordinances. Ordinance 2016-39, uh, dissolving the Capital Projects Advisory Committee. I move that we adopt Ordinance 2016-39 on second reading. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ordinance 2016-40, an ordinance amending Chapter 38 regarding setbacks. Do I hear a motion to bring this to the floor and approve? So move. Second. Okay, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. First reading, Ordinance 2017-04 regarding the airport rules. Motion to 
bring it to the floor and approve? So moved. Second. Second. Very good. We're all in unison today. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Board and Commission appointments. The Coney Economic <coughs> Alliance. Um, do we need to vote on these appointments? Madam Chair, if I may? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like this is on. Yeah, it is. All right. Um, we do, and a couple of different ways to do it, depending on how many uh, nominations we have versus how many seats. Mm -hmm. Taking them one by one, the Oconee Economic Alliance has historically been the chairperson, uh, the administrator, and then an at-large seat. I just wanted to bring it to the council's attention that that is not the way it's required to be by our ordinance um, or by the bylaws of the alliance or by the interlocal agreement between the county and the alliance. It's just three uh, appointments from the council. So that can be done however you wish. It's just historically been, I guess, efficient to do it with the chair, administrator, and at large. Okay. First question to Mr. Mulder. Would you like to remain on this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I would like to nominate Paul Kane to take my place on that commission. And I already talked to Mr. Dixon, and he would like to be reappointed, so I'd like to nominate him as well. So, uh, do we state vote on each person individually? Line. You could just state that as a nomination for that slate of candidates. Okay. Okay, so the nomination is Paul Kane to replace me on a Coney Economic Alliance. Mr. Scott Mulder to continue, and Mr. Sam Dixon to continue. All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Did we have to bring that up for discussion? No. Okay. Paul, did you need to say something, or are you just waving your pen? Okay. Mm -hmm. No. All right, Planning Commission. We need District 2, District 4, District 5, and one at large. So. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I'll nominate uh, for reappointment Mr. Richards. Okay, Mr. Richards for District 2. Anyone else have a nomination for the Planning Commission for your district, Mr. Hart? No, I don't have one right now. Um, I, I received one, which is Mr. Frankie Pearson for nomination. Okay, and you'd like to nominate Mr. Pearson? Do we have a nomination for the at-large position? All right, we'll put off the at-large position. Okay, so Mr. Richards for District 2, Mr. Pearson for District 4. four. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Just in order to keep it clean, if we could have those two votes separate, um, first for Mr. Richards and then a second vote for Mr. Pearson. Okay. First vote for Mr. Richard for District 2 on Planning Commission. Do we need a motion for that or just a vote? Okay, so all in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. For Mr. Pearson for District 4, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay, so we still have District 5 and at large pending. For Board of Zoning Appeals, District 2, do you have a nominee? Madam Chair, I have nobody. Okay, we'll, we'll find you somebody <laughs> for District 4. <laughs> District 4. <laughs> I'm still searching. You're still searching. District 5? Searching. Still searching. Okay, I would like to nominate for the at-large seat uh, Mr. Joshua Lusk. He's actually in my district, but um, he is very well qualified to be on the Board of Zoning Appeals. All in favor of Mr. Lusk for the at-large seat? Uh, aye. Okay, that's unanimous for that, so we still have the other districts pending. For Destination Oconee. Madam Chair, I have uh, Mr. Luther Lyle wants to be reappointed. Okay. Mr. Hart, do you have any nominees? Uh, Bob Hill, he, 
he uh, wants to be reappointed. Bob Hill would like to be reappointed for destination of county. I have Mr. Matthew Smith. Matthew Smith. Okay, and do we have someone for the at large? Hal Welch is. I suppose he could be at large. He would like to remain reappointed as at large. Okay, we'll tackle these one at a time. For District 2, for Destination Oconee, Mr. Luther Lyle, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. For District 5, Five. <laughs> Mr. Bob Hill, all in favor? Aye. 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 For District 4, Mr. Matthew Smith, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And Mr. Hal Welch for the at-large seat, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so it's unanimous for all of those, and that takes care of destination of Coney completely. Madam Chair, I may be confused. Just to step back mm -hmm. for housekeeping matter for the... Um, of zoning appeals we had an at-large seat field but we had two at-large openings am I correct am I looking at my um, on the agenda it only says one we do have two at-large openings all right I'm fine so this just to point out the at-large seat will expire in the 2018 as it's not a four-year appointment okay. okay thank you Okay, for the library board, uh, let me understand something about the library board. We're replacing the entire board this time around, or only three? There, there are nine members. Nine, okay. Of the library board. Um, so, replacing six of them, obviously. Okay. And probably the easy, I don't know if we have more than six nominations. I'm going to build for that. We can figure out how best to do it if we only. There were actually six applicants. How convenient. <laughs> um, and I'll just kind of read the names of those six applicants. Beverly Brackett from District 1. She is a librarian in Pickens County. Allison uh, Griffin from District 3. Kelly Holloman wants to be reappointed. And Chandra Morrison wants to be reappointed. Uh, Lisa Ann Martin, reappointed District 5, and Alice uh, Sudith, District 2. So, anybody have any questions or comments or concerns about those applicants? Personally, when I was reading through them, I didn't have a problem with any of them and any of the reappointments, so I'm okay with appointing those six. Uh, the rest of you? Yes, Madam Chair. Yes. Did you receive Ms. Sadith's application? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was that on the slate of folks that you just read off? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just make sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Madam Chair. Yes. So we're reappointing three, Martin, Sadith, and Holloman, and three new. Is that... Uh, the reappointments are Martin, Chanda Morrison, and Holloman. And then there's three new. Yeah. I'm sorry, Matt, if you, you haven't got all six. All right, so we have a slate of six candidates. If that's going to be a nomination for those six, we just vote to affirm that. That's One at a time like or all together? We can do them as a slate. Okay, so how do I word that? Um, all in favor of... <laughs> the aforementioned six candidates, uh, three for reappointment, three new on the library board. Brackett, Griffin, Holloman, Morrison, Martin, and Sudif. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Okay. So that takes care of the library board. Uh. <laughs> okay. And so you see in front of you then we have more appointments for February 7th and more appointments for February 21st. 
Uh, can we get an email out to our extended audience asking for interested parties to yes. apply? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So moving on. Uh, unfinished business. Um, would this be the time to affirm the date for our strategic planning meeting? Okay. What was that date? February 3rd. And that was a Friday. <clears throat> From 8.30 to 2.30. Correct, <coughs> right, uh, Any concerns about that date? Any Anybody? concerns about that date? Yeah, the, the port lift tears up. Well, okay. <laughs> we'll worry about it February 3rd. <coughs> okay, so all in favor of February 3rd affirming the date for our strategic planning meeting? Aye. Uh, Aye. Unanimous. Okay. Uh, any other unfinished business? Madam Chairman. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to uh, go forward with the decision on the spec building on the uh, South Carolina Route 59 at the Golden Corners Industrial Park near Fair Play. Okay. Uh, Madam Chair, I, as I believe that was pushed forward for, it was direction was given to Mr. Blackwell to, to apply. To, yes, apply with that loan, then we're going to bring it back. Um, if everything looked good for a resolution for y'all to affirm that you know, application if it was granted on a preliminary basis. So that okay. is moving forward. Okay. Um, so we've applied already or we're in the application process? I think we're in the application, we're in the application process. Application process. Okay. Um, is that okay then? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, anything else under unfinished business? No? New business? No, no council committee reports today. That meeting has been rescheduled to January 24th. So I guess we're ready to recess to executive session. Motion to recess. Motion. Thank you. Second. Second. All in favor? I'm sorry. Hold on. One more time. I'm gonna uh, yes, we <laughs> are recessing to executive session for the purpose of receiving legal advice and discussing a contractual matter related to the use and operation of approximately 58 acres of county-owned property located on Sandifer Boulevard. Also, to discuss a personal matter related to the clerk to council position and discussing an economic development matter, project entry. And could we include with that the discussion for the clerk to council position includes interviews of potential candidates? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Uh, uh, aye. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Motion to reconvene. Thank you. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, no action was taken in executive session. Mr. Root. Madam Chairman, if I could say um, a couple of motions. First would be that we have a motion to direct the county attorney to proceed with the negotiations and the handling of the Highway 50, excuse me, the 58 acres on Highway 123, as discussed. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 The second motion would be to direct the county administrator to perform the pre-hiring, screening, and related tasks to this clerk to council position as discussed to bring the candidate back for appointment if she passes those pre clearance items. We'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That was it, right? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Aye. <laughs> Congratulations. It really does smell pretty strong in here or something. Yeah. Yeah.
Now we have a man of karaoke will start in 30 minutes. <laughs> Remember, actually, actually, this is not me. Yeah, definitely. Did you get that? No, you're recorded on the. Next week, you're going to be live. Thank you. Thanks for going to have to be here. Make a job. You're past. You got to do more than that. <laughs> yeah, I'll get this. You got to do more than that. Exactly. I'm not even going to get it. You're getting close to the core. Thank you. 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 Thank you.